There's about 10 million tonnes of food wasted in the UK. Can we put a financial figure against that? And that's about £17 billion a year. Food waste has really big environmental impacts. As it decomposes, it emits uh, carbon dioxide and methane, both of which contribute to climate change. 20% of the UK's greenhouse gas emissions are associated with food. And 70% of the water footprint for the UK is associated with that food. So we need to make sure we're making the best use of that food and that we're not wasting it. If you start looking at the levels of food waste that we have, you start to think, you know, this is, this is far too much. We are wasting too much food. And that's clearly something we don't have to do. We're trying to tackle our food waste in a number of ways. The first of them is to reduce the amount of food that we use in the first place. So that's wastage in the kitchens and portion size. If you're trying to reduce your general waste and your food waste, then you clearly need to segregate that. Suez are our national waste providers. We worked with PwC in the upgrade of their hub areas and the configuration of the signage in order to make life as easy as possible. If you make things difficult for people, then they're not going to do it. They're busy. This is not their core activity. As we looked at all the different items which were going into the waste, one of them really stood out as being problematic, and that's food packaging. Food packaging traditionally is made of a composite material which is notoriously hard to segregate and recycle. It's disposed of as general waste at a higher cost. And so we chose to replace all of the food packaging, including disposable coffee cups, with something which was completely compostable. We identified a supplier called Vegware who make a product which is fully compostable within 12 weeks. There are two main disposal methods for food waste and compostable packaging, which is anaerobic digestion or in vessel composting. Within the southeast of England, the food waste from PwC sites is transported by Suez to Biogen in Hertfordshire. This is Biogen's Bulldog plant, one of seven across the UK. This plant processes 54,000 tonnes of food waste a year. On average, we get between 10 and 12 deliveries a day. And those vehicles can take up to 28 tonnes a time. So all the waste delivered into the uh, reception area here. The vehicles lift it up, process it through the hammer mills, and they squeeze out all the organic fraction, which creates the porridge-like consistency. We then feed the waste into the two digesters, which are at the back there. That's where the natural bacteria is seeded. In there, we capture the methane gas, which is what powers the engines at the front. This is the high quality methane that we store here that we've captured from the digesters that produces enough power for 3,000 homes. The other byproduct is liquid fertilizer, which is highly nutritious and is used on the land adjacent to the site. At Manor Farm, we farm wheat and barley. We've got oilseed rape, peas and potatoes. Biogen approached us and said that one of the things that they were going to be looking for was somewhere to put the digestate. We were interested to talk to them, knowing that it's got a number of nutrients in it. Nitrogen is most beneficial because the crop takes it up straight away, which produces a real good green leaf cover. The more green you've got the crop, the more yield you'll get. Companies may think that recycling food waste or food packaging is going to cost them money, but in actual fact our experience would suggest that you make quite considerable savings. By moving food waste away from landfill or incineration, we think that we've made a cost saving of around 40%. Compostable food packaging has given us a saving about 50% of the original costs. So it's not a costly activity and it's really something that people can do uh, and make a real difference. Bajan are absolutely delighted that PwC have committed themselves to this process and I think everybody within PwC is contributing by segregating their food waste should be absolutely proud of what they're doing. It's a signal to everybody else that they should follow suit. You've got to get excited about this. This is our planet. These are our children. We've got to start doing something about it. It is about joining together with the people who process your waste for you coming up with innovations, trying different things. This is really about changing hearts and minds. There's still more that could be done, uh, and it's great to see the leadership from PwC in this area.
every organisation needs someone who's passionate about recycling um, and, and that wants to make a difference. The more employees that an organisation has like that, the more chance they've got of succeeding in their environmental goals.